Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we are back making another breakfast, one of our favorites um, for heartier days when we want to have breakfast that lasts. And it's called Cinnamon Stick Oatmeal, if you're following along in the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook, page 45. And um, it starts with something really exciting, and that is a cinnamon stick, just like the title gives away. Do you know the name of the tree that makes cinnamon? Cinnamon tree. Uh, close. It's a cinnamon, 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 cinnamon mum tree. Oh. There's an M-U-M on the end of it. So you put the cinnamon stick in the water, and it actually, I think you have a top shot here, you guys. Uh, you can see the cinnamon stick in there. Can you, can you uh, see it floating around? Here, put it in the middle so you can see it. And <clears throat> put it in the water <clears throat> and bring it to a boil. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take oh, for it to, for it to boil, but um, we are going to just let that, oh no, it will boil faster. Okay, we'll, we'll let it boil faster there. And um, we're going to come back to you when it boils. Okay, oh, we're on a boil. Really bubbly boil. Okay, I don't want to splash anybody here, but we're going to add the quinoa, cooked quinoa. I cooked this last night, so it's cool and ready to go. And we let, let this let this hang in the water, absorb it um, for a couple minutes. So we're going to add the oats in, um, turn it to low. Oh, and let that all cook. Will you tell us about Norma? Uh, Norma um, is amazing. She's from Mexico. Married to Jim Horton. And she's married to Jim Horton. And uh, she was living in New York. She's in New York now, but she has uh, also a place in Mexico. But she was a national, a, a, a national long runner, distance runner, long from, distance Mexico. runner from Mexico. And Jim was a trainer, and they met that way. And she is a wonderful cook. We just can't have it, get enough of her cooking. And she gave us the idea for this cinnamon stick oatmeal. She also gave us the idea for our... Um, Chili rellenos. Yes. And also the idea for... Uh, I know. Mango pudding, which oh. is so amazing. Just because it is just mango and oat, and milk. oat milk. Yeah. And it is so delicious. So we'll have to do that one time. We will. But so that, that, thank you, thank you for Norma for her wonderful. Oh, this is supposed to be on low. Um, all right, so we're gonna have this cook for about 15 minutes, and we'll be right back to you. It is just about done, and this has been cooking away here for maybe about you know the last 12, 15 minutes, and the cinnamon stick is so cool. It's still in there, infusing everything with amazing cinnamon flavor, and. The quinoa and the oatmeal are really swollen and turgid. It's a really humid day here today, so I think we didn't have a lot of um, as much water burn up, uh, cook off as, as we had hoped to. So I actually reduced the amount of water and I drained a little bit of it off so we could get this ready for you guys to see the final product. So if you're following along in a humid environment, less water than the recipe calls for, um, it would work. Okay, uh, we want to serve it. I'm going to turn this off. and. Watch for the cinnamon, cinnamon stick. <laughs> um, and then just serve this with whatever you like on your oats. Um, some people, you know, obviously like berries and, and bananas and whatnot, but if you want to go another direction with uh, the cinnamon profile, I suppose you could go sort of more nutmeg and cardamom, maybe with some cilantro and uh, mango. I, I don't know. I just, it's, there's a lot you could do. And you know, I don't like oatmeal. I mean, I love oats, but I don't like oatmeal. But this is different. It is. And when Norma talked about, she said, when, when we're going to, when we are training and we're going to go for long runs, we put quinoa in our oatmeal because it adds so much more, um, and like, endurance to what our long-lasting, long-lasting um, energy 
for what they needed and demanded in the day. Anyway, this is another way to make oats in the morning. A little longer, but it's also cool and it's um, just infused with and more it's love. different. And it makes them look kind of pretty. Yes, it does. Don't you think? It does. And we're going to try it. We're going to make our own bowl. Thank you so much. Tell us what you put in yours. Bye. Bye.